get to know me tag. You might want to know the person behind the camera. I don't know. I don't want have kids, so that's not a priority for me. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I decided I did film this a while ago and I cannot find the footage and I'm not sure how I feel about it anyway. So I decided I would film a get to know me tag. Um, just because obviously um, I'm getting some new YouTube subscribers hopefully. I'm going to try and do vlogmas this year and all that sort of stuff. But you might want to know the person behind the camera. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram you might see like I'm trying to share more about myself there. Um, because I'm just more like take photos and stuff like that and not talk about myself but obviously people want to know the person behind uh, the video so I thought I would film a YouTube get to know me tag and um, so I've just loaded the questions up here on my phone I haven't looked through these yet so without further ado here I go what is your middle name so my middle name is Mary and my uh, nana on my dad's side Share your favourite subject in high school or secondary school as we call it in Ireland and um, probably art. I don't know. I'd, I wouldn't say like I loved many subjects in school. I don't know geography a bit. What's my favourite drink? Probably water. I mean, I don't really drink many different types of drinks. Like I'm literally like a water or coffee. I do like coconut water, so I suppose that counts maybe. What is your favourite song at the moment? All the time, tr like for the last like God knows how many years. My favorite song of all time is Bittersweet Symphony and Starlight. I kind of have two. They're always my favorite song. So I know I really am liking Watermelon Sugar High. Watermelon Sugar High. What's it called? By the one by Harry Styles. Um, and what else am I liking? Oh, I don't know. Um, I never know what songs are on the radio at the moment. I love that one though from the Friday song. You know, it's Friday. Ding. Saturday, Sunday, well, I don't remember what the actual song is called. <laughs> what would you name your children? I don't want to have kids, so that's not a priority for me. Have you participated in any sports? So I do play ultimate frisbee a bit. Um, I play in college and just play with the team casually at the moment. Um, obviously at the moment because of COVID. Uh, what is your favourite book? I do like a lot of books, but I would definitely say Harry Potter series is my favourite book series. But I do love Richard Branson, Losing My Virginity. I think that's one of the best like, business books I've ever read. Um, I love all his books anyway. <laughs> What's my favourite colour? Maybe pink. <laughs> what is your favourite animal? I'm not sure I have a favourite animal. Like, I'm kind of weird like that. I'm like, I love all the animals. <laughs> Obviously, I love dogs. I probably I do love an elephant like or like a wolf. I so suppose it's very stereotypical, isn't it? What is your favourite perfume? My favourite perfume is Juicy Couture, Viva Le Juicy, Le Fleur. It's the longest name ever, but it's like Juicy Couture has perfume, so there's Viva Le Juicy, but then there's like different types of Viva Le Juicy. And the one I like is Viva Le Juicy, Le Fleur. What is your favourite holiday? I don't know, I've been to so many places. I definitely love visiting Vietnam, probably. I'd say Singapore. Singapore is like the best place I've ever visited. Probably like my number one of anywhere I've ever been, so probably Singapore. Have you been out of the country? Well, of course, if you're following me for a while, you know I'm a bit of a travel blogger, or I try to be anyway, so yeah. <laughs> Do you speak any different languages? So obviously like everyone in Ireland, I did take Irish throughout all of school. I did honours Irish for my leaving cert. Um, I wouldn't say I was like amazing or bad at it. Like I thought I wasn't great at it, but I was just like average, I think. I did Spanish in school for years. Don't speak it very well though. <laughs> What is your favourite shop? Probably Primark. I love Primark. I love pennies, but I keep saying Primark for things on Instagram and stuff because I have a lot of followers in America. Did you like school? Not really. I miss like, I liked, no, I don't miss school. Definitely not what I do miss school. Um, I liked like seeing my friends every day, but I hated like the wearing a uniform and having to like be under rules and stuff like that. I didn't like that part of school. <laughs> Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? I watch a few people and I like love their videos. And um, I definitely love Sophie Hanna. Uh, I love, like I'm obsessed with watching all of her home uh, improvement type videos, like her reveals. Like I follow her home account on Instagram. Like I, I like watching her like hair dye videos and stuff like that as well. And like, um, unfortunately she doesn't do her weekly vlogs anymore, which I actually loved. Um, like vlogs are my favorite type of thing to watch. I like Sarah Ashcroft, but I mostly just watch her vlogs. I watch this couple called Beck and Eamon. They're like van life people. What is your favorite movie? Oh, I do have like loads of movies I love. Like I love like, the Incredibles, Wreck-It Ralph, 
But I love like the sound of me. The sound of music might be my favorite movie. I love that movie. But I also love like Notting Hill and um, What a Girl Wants, Bridget Jones Diaries. Like some of those like my old classic favorites that I'm like I could see them a million times. You know. What are some of your favorite TV shows? Obviously Game of Thrones. I have a dog named Oberyn, so you know. We recently started watching Succession. That show is unbelievable. One of the best shows I think I've ever. That's such a good show. And Once Upon a Time, I finally just finished watching Once Upon a Time. I'm like so devastated. I didn't really watch the last season. If anyone's watching Once Upon a Time, it ends at season six. Um, PC or Mac, Mac, what phone do you have? This is the Samsung S8. But I'm definitely an Android phone kind of person. How tall are you? I am five foot two, so very short. And do you have any pets? Yes, I have a golden retriever called Oberyn. You should follow his Instagram. It is at Oberyn the Golden. Where did you grow up? I grew up in, well, so I was born in Dublin. I spent like the first few years in Dublin. And then my mom and my dad decided they wanted to move down the country because my dad was like, they do any reason in the city. Um, so they moved, they bought a house down there. But then unfortunately my dad died. So then um, my mom, Basically, I, I grew up like in a, I, a few different places. So um, we used to live in a place called Stone Park in Longford. And then after my dad died, we used to live in a place called Newtown Cashel. And um, we lived there for a few years. And then we lived in Ruski in County Ross Common, um, which is like literally just right over the border. Like, it was all the same area. Like I went to school in Longford the entire time. And um, we lived in Ruski for most of my teenage years. And then my mom moved to a place called Strokestown in Roscommon. Um, and we, she was there for a few years while I was in college. I wasn't really there that much. Um, and now she actually lives in nature. So she, she likes to move around. Um, but yeah, mostly, like I would say I grew up in Longford because I went to school in Longford. My life was in Longford uh, town. Uh, where do you currently live? I currently live in Kildare in Ireland. Um, who was your first, who is your first best friend? Probably my friend Martha. Like I, we were like best friends growing up. Like cats or dogs? Both. Funniest moment throughout high school. Oh, it was actually a funny story. Like the girls actually still say to me, like basically, um, when I was in school, you know, you have different rooms you're in for different classes. So I was in a class, and basically I had this teacher, and she used to write so much on the floor. She used to put a projector. Like she's a really nice woman and all, but she used to just put up a, proje a projector and make you copy down the notes. Like I don't know how this is learned. This is probably why I did so bad in chemistry for years. Anyway, um, she was lovely. Like it wasn't that she was bad. She just I'm very slow at re like taking down notes. So anyway, we had finished our class, I was still taking down notes. Next teacher comes in and I'm like, um, sorry miss, I'm nearly done now. And I was like, oh, I was actually done writing, I'm like packing up my stuff. And she's like, Elizabeth, get out of my classroom. And she's literally shouting at me. Um, and I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry miss. And I'm like, I'm putting my stuff in my bag as quick as I can. And I'm like, so sorry, just get my stuff. Like I'm, I'm going now. Like she's like, get out of my classroom, Elizabeth. Liz, like, get out of my classroom. And I'm like, like, I'm like, why are you fucking screaming? Excuse my language. I'm like, why the hell are you screaming at me? Like, I was, li you could see I was packing up my bags. Like, you know, some teachers just on a power kick, like, honestly, like, I, like, don't get me wrong, I know it is difficult to be a teacher and I could never do that job. But there was just no reason for her. She was obviously in a bad mood or something because I'm like, there's no reason for you to be screaming when you can see I was rushing so much. It wasn't like I was being lazy or anything like that. And, um, Anyway, and I was like, it really, really frustrated me because I'm like, she's shouting at me and I'm like, oh, I'm really sorry. Like, I'm trying to get my stuff together. Like, I was putting my books in my bag, you know. I mean, it wasn't even that long, like. Anyway, she's like, as I'm walking out of the classroom, she's still like, get out. Would you get out? And I was like, Jesus. I was like, take a chill pill as I was walking out the door because I was just so annoyed, like. Well, anyway, then I shut the door after me and I was like, wherever this classroom was, it was like on the ground floor. So I was going up the stairs. And then she literally, like, I was going upstairs and I kind of had a feeling because she's one of the teachers she was going to come out at me. And I'm like, walk upstairs. She's like, Elizabeth, get back down here. And I was like, sorry, what? And she's like, get back down here. And she's like, maybe come back into the classroom. And she's like, don't you ever tell me. And to open quote, and she did this and said open quote, take a chill pill, close quote, again. And I was like, right, sorry, but you were screaming at me, like, Obviously I was frustrated. I'm like a 17 year old, 16 year old and you're screaming at me like I'm a fucking child that's like screaming back or something when I was being so polite. 
And she's like, now apologize to me in front of the whole class. And I was like, are you serious? And she was like, yes, apologize. And I'm like, right, I'm sorry. Like she, and she was like, I don't think you meant that, but fine. And like literally the girls still laugh at today. Like I remember time you told Mrs. Teacher to take a chill pill and I'm like, oh God. But yeah, that's my funny story from school. There's probably loads more. Where were you born? Dublin in the National Maternity Hospital on Hollis Street. Have you gone to college? Yes, I went to what is now called, it's now called TUD, Technical University of Dublin, I think. And I studied um, business and IT, so like business and computers. Tea or coffee? Oh, such a difficult one. I drink coffee all the time, but I actually like tea more, if that makes sense. What are your life goals to get a van and do loads of road trips with my boyfriend and dog? <laughs> And to buy a second house, that's, but that's, you know, a little bit away. Are you single or taken? Obviously taken, I live in the house that I own with my boyfriend. How long is your longest relationship? My current boyfriend, David. Um, I think we've been together for like eight, maybe over eight years now. I don't actually know like an exact date. I'm actually terrible at that kind of stuff. How would you describe your fashion sense? I don't know. I'm the kind of person who can dress like so differently some days. Like some days I'm like hipster, the next day I'm like preppy. Next day I'm like hobo, I don't know, like I'm just like literally like what do I feel like today? Or how much effort do I want to put in? <laughs> what is your go-to hairstyle? I you will never really see me with my hair up. Probably down like kind of loose curls like this is my favourite. Um I do straighten my hair a good bit as well. What is your go-to fast food order? Does a burrito and bougie count as fast food? Because that's it. <laughs> and chili cheese bites and burger king. Oh my god, they're so good. Do you have any bad habits? Yes, about my nails. That's why I like to wear fake nails because it stops me from biting my nails. <laughs> Tell us one thing about you that we wouldn't know. Probably anything you don't really know me very well. <laughs> when I did the aptitude test in school, I was in the top 1% of the country for mechanical reasoning. What's your favourite Netflix show? I do love the um, Umbrella Academy. It's a really good one. I, I suppose the Netflix show now is Black Mirror. That's probably my absolute favourite one. It's so good. Describe your eye colour. Dark brown. <laughs> what was your dream job as a kid? I wanted to be a pop star when I was younger. Then I was very focused on doing acting for years. I still like, it's not like I don't want to do that, but it's like, I don't think I'm exactly talented in it. Like I'm not, I'm good in front of the camera being myself, but I could do theatre acting. Like I think I could do that um, if I tried really hard, but if you want to do acting as a career, you have to be prepared to live a life where you like, not that there's anything wrong with being a waitress, but you can't have like a career because you're focused on your acting career. So you need a job that's flexible, like like being a waitress, bartending, stuff like that, that you can leave and all that. And if I'm honest, like that's just not the lifestyle for me. Like I can't, I can't struggle till I make it. So that's why I decided to go down the route of marketing. And, um, I don't know if I'll ever get into acting, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what is your coffee order? I love a chai latte. Chai latte, but when it is this time of year, which is autumn, pumpkin spice latte for sure. Have you moved from home? Where to? How was your experiences? Yes, yeah, so I lived in, obviously I left Longford to go to Dublin for college. I was there for uh, four years. Um, I was there for like half a year after I finished college, I suppose. Then I was living in America for two year, year and a half. And um, then I was back here for like a year-ish. And then we went traveling for eight months and now I'm back in Ireland. And um, so back and forth to Dublin, now we're living in Kildare. And we're just over the border, we're not that far from Dublin. Like how many countries have you traveled to? I've been to 30 countries now. Who is your celebrity crush? Obviously Chris Hemsworth. I mean, could there be anyone else? What are your pet peeves? People who chew loudly? Or like rude drivers, oh my god. What are your favourite values in friends? Loyalty is a very important thing to me. What social media are you addicted to? Obviously Instagram. Who is your role model? Probably Richard Branson, he's an amazing business person. Do you save birthday cards with other green cards? Yes, not all my birthday cards, but to be honest I have like a few, like I have one for my nana and she's dead, and I have one for my grandma and she's dead. Um, and like for my godfather, he's also dead. Um, but like, I, I think like I kind of keep some of them if they're nice ones, but then as a person dies, I can't get rid of them. Do you remember your first email address? I still have my first email address. When I was like 10, my mom made me an email address. It's so weird, like, I st she made me two. She had the same username on Hotmail and on Yahoo. I still have both of them, like, 
I mean, like, my Hotmail now is an Outlook, but it's still at Hotmail.com. People are like, oh my god, you still have a Hotmail account? I'm like, yeah, it's my main email address. Like, I mean, it's Outlook now, but, like, it's still at Hotmail. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Possibly Singapore. Yeah. Um, if you could live in a city or the country, where would you choose? City, definitely. I'm more of a city person. That's it for my get to know me tag. Um, please like this video if you would like to see more content from me. Please subscribe as well if you'd like to see more content from me. It really um, means a lot. Um, like I don't have a lot of subscribers, I'm trying to grow, but um, I see all you people that are there um, and the people that watch my videos. So thank you so much for watching them. Um, so yeah, thank you. Bye. Um, um, um,